Hi, uh, my name is Eric. I'm from uh, Fremont, California, United States. Uh, for the last year, I've been living in Mexico City, um, just traveling around uh, that area of the world. Um, what did I come here to uh, Nimiya Kaya for? I think that for some years I had been feeling and like fighting these feelings of just mm, personal shames and frustrations with myself and you know I kind of always knew the places that it came from but I really didn't know how much it was affecting me and how I wanted to be able to address it uh, and it was during some of my travels in uh, Mexico that I met with people who had tried ayahuasca and spoken to me about it um, and their experiences seemed so profound and they seemed like such like people who were in such tune with themselves uh, on a level that I just personally wasn't and it made me immediately curious and then after some conversations with them I decided that I wanted to try it for myself and a lot of people think about ayahuasca for years before making that jump um, I decided to do it within months to just uh, take the leap and see what it's what it was about and it just blew my expectations um, way out of the water in some ways it was good and it was it was a little bit frightening that I came in maybe a little bit unprepared I didn't expect to have the kinds of journey and work that I ended up doing you know I I knew that I wanted to feel more love for myself in my life um, and for some reason I thought that that would manifest itself during a journey as like mother ayahuasca coming to me and telling me that I deserve to be loved and giving me like a great big spiritual hug and me becoming lightweight because of feeling lighter on my shoulders because of it um, but it threw me in for such an incredible loop I was able to just come face to face with myself I was able to be pulled out of myself and see myself from a third person perspective and just understand the damage that I was doing to myself on a regular basis. I could be separated from my ego and see it so clearly. I think that in those moments where we were journeying, it was some of the hardest hardest work I've ever done in my life, if not the hardest work I've done in my life. You know, um, I saw my inner child. I saw my inner child covering his ears and crying and I was able to look at my inner child and and show him love, and which was the same thing as showing myself love. Um, and that that feeling just touched me so deeply to feel in that moment and continue to reflect on that uh, and to reflect on that after. So just on these experiences in the journey, I feel like I, I was able to develop like a greater awareness of myself as well as a toolkit for being able to handle those moments where I'm feeling my own frustrations and anxiety moving forward. Um, I plan to carry that practice with me uh, for the rest of my life after my time spent here. Um, with regards to my time spent here, it's it's been the most incredible nine weeks of my life, being surrounded by people who are going through not the same journeys, but feeling so many of the same feelings. You know, there's so much empathy and understanding amongst everybody here in ways that you may not find in normal world uh, settings, you know, whether it be with your work, with your family, it's rare that you have like 15, 16 other people that are on the same wavelength. Um, to also have incredible staff and facilitators who have always, who have also been through this situation many, many times and are able to guide you and show you empathy and, and love the entire time as well. Um, makes you feel so safe in a setting that may potentially be terrifying for many other people. Um, I would always come back to here uh, if given the chance to do so. Um, the food, the scenery uh, has always has all been incredible. I feel purified mentally from just being so close to nature. Uh, my body feels so clean from eating healthy uh, the entire nine days. I feel love in my heart from being surrounded by people that truly care about me. Um, and I just feel love for myself.
for being exposed so much to myself uh, for the last nine days. So, yeah, any any chance I get to come back here, I I certainly wouldn't have any hesitation to do so. And for anyone who's considering to coming here in order to maybe discover a little bit about themselves, um, get over some traumas that they that have been weighing them down throughout their lives. Um, I 100% recommend coming to Numea Kaya as well.